Today on Beerus TV, we have our third episode of the Vertex 120 Clownfish Build. Hi, I'm Ryan, host of Beerus TV, where each week we cover a new topic related to reefing. This week we're going to continue our series on how to set up a clownfish harem tank. In the last episode, one of our viewers mentioned we should add a refugium to this system to export some nutrients. Really no reason not to, so I asked a friend to build me one. Well, a fuse this size won't handle all of the nutrient export we need, it can be a component of a more complete nutrient export plan. Since a heavy feeding schedule is going to be a major component of our plan to manage food aggression, any additional nutrient export is welcomed. You can see it hangs on the baffles here and water flows through without a pump. We're lighting it with a Kessel 360 Tuna Sun, which is their model for planted tanks. This thing is super bright and some of the guys here think it's a bit overkill. Maybe it is, but going big is always more fun and it's it's my hope that the additional light will help make a smaller fuge like this one more successful. After installing it, I can instantly see an issue here. While it looks cool today, I'm going to put money on the fact that the sump is going to turn green from the spillover light. I might have to go back and make the fuge out of black or something else less transparent. We'll let you know how it turns out in a month or so. Other than that, this tank has been cycling for two months now. We've been adding food daily with the Neptune Auto Feeder to simulate a nutrient load so the tank will be ready for our new family. We did a lot of research on selecting the right quantity of clowns for this harem, and I heard anything from 15 to 50. 50 seems absurd, but many of the people who have been successful doing this suggest that one of the keys to success here is managing aggression by diffusing it with the right volume of fish. Too few, and they may target select individuals one by one. We ended up going with 30, which is right in the middle of the suggestions. So enough of all that, let's get to the star of the show, the clowns. Our resident clown guy, Lou, told me we had to get the fish from his favorite supplier, Sustainable Aquatics, so that's what we went with. They have a pretty good selection of what people commonly refer to as designer clowns. Well, we would have really liked to pick a variety of types and colors. One of the things that many people who've had success doing this a long time have in common is starting with fish from the same clutch and raised together, where some of the dominance hierarchy has already started to work itself out. We ended up going with these super cool black and white snowflake clowns and I'm going to acclimate them right now and get them into the tank. So this is what our tank looks like with the new clowns. These guys are super cute and pretty entertaining already. We're going to give this tank another month and start adding the anemones. I want this thing absolutely packed with bubble tips for them to reduce habitat-based aggression. We're also considering adding ozone to this system in the future, so check back with us in a month or two for an update on the Vertex 120 Clownfish Harem. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because this is going to be the coolest series we've done for sure. We're going to leave you with some nice shots of our new clown family. See you next week with another episode of BRS TV.